Well, hello and welcome to this word problem that involves integers, digits, and algebra. Uh, and I think it's suitable for IGCSE and GCSE and 10th grade algebra and also for GED. Now, this is our exercise and I should try and paraphrase. Now, essentially, I've got our first integer is made up of two digits. Now, starting from the left-hand side, shall we say the, the digits are A and then B. And then we add a third digit to this integer. The, the third digit is 5, and that's added at the right-hand side of B. So we now have three digits, A, written from the left-hand side, A, B, and then 5. Now, when you subtract the first integer, which is made of two digits, digits from the second integer, which is made up of three digits, our answer is 887. And we're asked to find the original integer. Now, there are th two ways of doing this. Uh, for instance, if you have the integer 33 or 33, that's made up of three tens, three times 10 plus three which is 33. So now, if we got an integer AB there, so the value of AB here is 10 times A plus B. If we then add 5 at the end of B to make it a three-digit integer, the value then becomes 100A plus 10B plus 5. And from this, you can work out your values. But I'm going to do it much. Uh, I'm going to try uh, a simpler method than this. Now, because the first integer has got two digits, and I'm going to put this in these in columns. So the first column is going to be tens column, and the second column is going to be units or singles column. So we've got a under the tens column and b under the units column. And because for uh, the second integer AB5, that's got three digits, so we now got um, hundreds and tens are units or singles column. So uh, A will go under the hundreds column, and B under the tens column, and five under the units column, as we got here. And then we subtract uh, this here, subtract this, and uh, that's what we get. Our answer is. 887. Now, I'm, I'm going I'm to try to be pedantic here. Uh, I'm not. Just, I'm not going to jump straight into the to the answers. Right. If I do five minus b, I, I got seven. So b is equal to minus two. That that implies that b is uh, greater than five, as as you people already know. So what we then do is. We borrow one from the tenth column from B and make that 15. Right, make that 15. 15 minus B is equal to 7, and so B is equal to 8. So what we now got there, instead of B, we now have B minus 1. So if B is 8, B minus 1 should be 7 there. Okay? So now we've got... Uh, right, so now we've got... Uh, B minus 1 minus A is equal to 8, and 8 minus 1 minus A is equal to 8, which makes A is equal to minus 1, and that's no good. I, I know I'm being silly here. I could have done it straight away. So that's no good. So what do you do? You don't have to borrow one from here and make that 17 or 18 minus 1. So and that's what I got there. So borrow one from A. We now have a minus 1 and add it to the tenth column. We got uh, 18 minus 1 is 17 minus, a, 17 minus a is equal to 8 and a is equal to 9. So now our original integer is now 98. Okay, now don't forget here that because this is not 8 minus, sorry, this is not, this is now 9 minus 1 because a is 9 this now becomes 9 minus 1 9 minus 1 is 8 so this 8 comes down here 
Now to check if you're right, if we do 985 minus 98, we got 887. And that's fine. Thank you for watching. And please, please subscribe. Bye-bye now.